We don't get to pick the traits we are born with, and conditions like high cholesterol can be inherited. But often, lifestyle choices can help to treat and even prevent it. Dr. Dominic Dizon with Dizon Medicine explains healthy diet choices, exercise, and sometimes medication can even help reduce cholesterol levels. Cholesterol is a waxy and fat-like substance that's found in all cells of our body. It is an essential component of the body cell's cell membrane. Cholesterol is essential for your body to build healthy cells, but high levels can increase your risk of heart disease. And normally when we think of normal ranges, it depends on a person's risk and a person's, uh, the type of cholesterol you have. The first risk group is somebody's already had heart attacks, strokes, stents, or cardiac bypass done. For those patients, we actually now think of it's called secondary prevention, where they have to be on a cholesterol medication to get their bad cholesterol less than 70. There is such a thing as familial hypercholesterolemia, and what it is is in patients after the age of 20, and they have a family member who has had premature coronary artery disease, and they have a bad cholesterol LDL above 190 milligrams per deciliter. Those patients are now recommended to be put on a cholesterol medication as well. Then the third group is actually patients who are diabetic. So for those patients now, uh, a statin is recommended. So a statin acts on the liver to reduce the production of cholesterol through your liver. Statins are prescribed drugs that work by blocking a substance your body needs to make cholesterol. However, it's important to talk with your primary care provider to review the risks and side effects of statins to see if they are right for you. Even though cholesterol comes from two sources, one of which is the liver, but you can also get cholesterol from animal products. So we try to tell patients to decrease their consumption of red meat and also dairy products. There are actually foods that can help your cholesterol, particularly your good cholesterol. Dr. Dominic Dizon recommends consuming various vegetables, fruits like avocados, and fiber like oatmeal to influence a healthier lifestyle. The other thing we tell our patients is do not start smoking. And exercise can contribute to healthy cholesterol as well. So the American Heart Association recommends 150 active minutes a week. That's when your heart rate goes to 75% of a patient's maximum heart rate. Overall, Dr. Dizon recommends making an appointment with your primary care provider to check your cholesterol levels and risk factors regularly.